Video games. Video games. But on phones? What? Like a, a game where you have some mobility to move around uh -huh. in the world. Like a Nintendo Switch. And take your game with you. But with no attached controller. A mobile game, you might say. Separate controller. Because this is... You are mobile. This is a phone. This is the phone game controller I have here, for for playing the phone games. This is the Ooh, console. What? The console smaller than the controller. What color the heck? What is, what is that DualShock color? Is that just white? White. Oh man. White. Oh, man. I developed a real bad habit of buying DualShocks I don't need. I have two of these. Uh, I because I I got the white uh, Destiny One. Oh right. Yes. Console for some reason, and then somehow I ended up with a second white one. I don't remember Ooh. how. I don't remember when. I've bought like five DualShocks in the last few years. Are, are you saying that they're bad and you have to keep replacing them? No, or? they keep coming out with good colors. Oh. Yeah. The purple one that just came out is... Yeah. Mm. Anyway, whatever. Whatever. Apple Arcade... <laughs> don't mean shit. ...is here. Yeah. Uh, came out last week for, for realsies. And it's a handful of games for like five bucks a month. It's a lot uh, of games. It's a lot of games, yeah. It's I feel like the narrative about Apple Arcade did a 180. Yeah, in from the space like of a week. Yeah, from who needs this to oh my god, I need this to like oh hey, this this is actually like a lot of these like it, it's it's kind of like how the Switch gets all the indie games. Mm -hmm. This kind of has a bunch of those types of games that you think that okay. I think of as being in that slot. Yeah, uh, totally. Plus some more traditional kind of phone games, but not the uh, same games. Like it's a bunch of new stuff. Well, some some, some, some of these games the are on yes, Switch of also, course, but of yes, course. but I mean yeah. they got uh, enough. Games that have not appeared elsewhere. Right. They got a uh, lot of new games. Yeah. From a lot, lot of big games. names. Names and games. Names, games. It they doesn't get any bigger than Frogger. That's right. It doesn't get any bigger than Frogger. I, you know, you're probably, in some in some way, you're probably right. So we're going to take a look at, we're not going to look at 100% uh, of the games here, but, you know, like we're going to um, get through a handful of these, uh, some of which I have played, some of which I've been saving to play until we do this. Um, and I figured I would start with this skateboarding game, Skate oh, you City. You would. You would. For skating, for skaters. Get the You're using the controller for, for this. Skater boys. How does like Chad Kroger? He's he's not a skater boy. I'd say I mean, you, should not, to, you should listen to the song. Says. You should listen to the song. Well, I mean, I heard the song. The opposite. She was a skater boy. Says. She said, "See you later, boy." No, but then. You, but you I, should I, listen I, to the. You should really listen to the third verse of the song. But like, you should really listen to the third verse of the song. So obviously a high school fling. She doesn't end up with the skater boy long term. I, they're writing songs she together. Goes off this to is college. five years. This is five years after high school. The third verse is set in the present day. So is the second verse, for that matter. Uh, Skate City is Ollie Ollie, sort of. Um. And uh, I'm gonna play with a controller here, which basically, this game is fine uh, touch also. It's like you just kind of swipe on either side of the screen, swipe directions to do tricks. Um, yeah, there's like, you swipe in eight different directions. Yeah, and you'll see that, you know, the, the controller is not that different. I just use the either analog stick. And that's so on the left stick, I select these tricks. And on the right stick, I select these tricks. Do you have a push button? Yeah, X is push. Um, and let's see, I can use the, I believe it is, yeah, I can land in a manual, <clears throat> and then, uh, you can land it. well, I, you can land in a manual, one could, and then you, yeah, you have a bounce meter on grinds. You just like hold up or down for the grind, right? Uh, yeah, I think that's, I think that's how that goes. And it, it'll, it, well, it'll kind of automatically, if you, if you are landing a trick in, on a grindable, near a grindable surface, it will grind on it. Unless you hold, I think it is, there's a direction you can hold to of like avoid grinding. Okay. Basically. Um. Yeah. Oh. I tried to do a manual. You, you saw how that went. Um, there are some challenges. What do we got here? Land three of five tricks. Who made this? Anyone of note? I don't know. Um, they actually did list the developer uh, uh, on, the, on the Apple Arcade 
pages in a way that's like kind of cool. Uh, I am in fact the one with the laptop here. All right. Which means I am in chat. Ask me questions. Ooh, I think I got enough points. You got five. Uh, okay. So that means we can go. <laughs> Esquire calls this game a rewarding experience. Huh. Um, let's see. I can't find the developer. Agents. Agents. Ah, okay then. Ah, uh, there's a shop. Where's, the, okay, skate shop. So it looks like we can get, you know, clothing and boards, that sort of stuff. And upgrade my skills and get more pop. I'm looking for some more pop. You always need more pop. You gotta have your pop. I, I like to pop from time to time. Hey, there you are. I've got specific needs. Yep. Now this can be... All right, now we've got a video game. game. Uh... <laughs> Here's a great question already. Okay. JBIC89. Would you consider leaving a game running to help support the developer or a developer that you really like? So yeah, is I guess how, like is some, that really some of that stuff. So that, that's how the Google Play stuff is. Like, uh, Google Google launched a, launched a similar subscription service that seems like it is solely based on time played, and it seems like some of the Apple stuff is done a little differently. But maybe there's some of that in there as well. Huh. That sucks. Um, it sucks for if you develop like sh tight experiences that are meant to be played yeah. once and and yeah. you know it completed and deleted like like. If you were the maker of like Sign Mama My Wars. Game by Found by Game yeah. Found Mr. By mom. mom Success by Mom, uh, that would be a, a super bad model. Um, or say like a Donut County or right, yeah. Uh, so I, I would imagine Sayonara Wild, Sayonara Wild, Hearts. Is Wild Hearts like two hours. Yeah, uh, yeah, but you know, like also, but that's also built on the idea that maybe you would unlock the arcade mode and play it again and and stuff like that. So okay, let's let's get into the endless again here and. There we go. I'm okay. surprised they don't omit that little uh, horizontal line at the bottom when you TV out this thing. It's the it's the, the authentic experience. Okay, <laughs> trick guide. It's kind of like a little console in your pocket. Yeah. Hold L1 or R1 while flicking a stick up to the left. I've never known about the anti -hana. anti hana. Beware. You, uh, you bring a fully cooked meal and they chop it apart at the Auntie Hana. As advertised, that's a Benihana. This is a skateboarding game. No sort of, I mean, there's like a trick system where you can string together tricks, but no like points. Well, so we're in endless skate now, you know, oh. so it's not really about that. If you go into challenges, it, the, the goals get a little more specific about what you do. But even then, it doesn't really seem like that's necessarily, well, okay, here's score as one of those, but we have to complete some of these other challenges to get there. Land some spins. No, I hit that, that's I'm good. How you do this on a phone? Uh, you mean the the spinning? That's a good question. I think I had switched to controller by the time it got to that part of the game. Can't spin on a phone. That's all. Well, maybe there. you just spin the phone around. That's probably it. Uh, okay, completed that one. Okay, let's. Uh... Okay, here's a score one. Subactuality says, important question, where is Bam Margera? Uh, he, I think he was last seen reaching out to Dr. Phil uh, to help him out with uh, <laughs> some issues he was having. Yes, uh, getting a Dr. Phil tattoo last I saw, says Chad. Yeah. Night 64 brings him up on their podcast occasionally. He does not seem well. I say. Yeah. Sounds right. 
Wasn't he the one with the dad? Yeah. He's the one with the dad. Yeah. He's a little damn. Okay, so that was completing four challenges. Okay, well, we saw a score one, so. That's Skate City. I, it, it's, uh, it seems pretty well made, though I would probably still take Ollie Ollie over it. Uh, but, yeah. It's weird, like, recommending or not recommending these games, because if you have the service, you can just play it. Yeah. I guess, like, overall, I'd say, like, the service seems good and, and worth checking out, and their free trial stuff is actually, like, pretty good, too. So, uh, to that end, like, yeah, give it a look. But, uh... Reminds me of Giant Bomb's free trial stuff. Fair, yeah. mm -hmm. fun, easy. I love fun. I love easy. Does I love it? free. Does the PlayStation button go home by any chance? No, it does not. That's a, yeah. that's a missed opportunity. Uh, yeah. Uh, Frogger. That's a video game. Frogger. Classic. Mm. Konami classic. Mm -hmm. Konami has uh, saw fit to produce a new Frogger game with Q Games, which is weird. A little weird. Yeah, they do a fair amount yeah. of work for hire. That the sounds. Uh, hmm. Hmm. The more human-like you make Frogger, the more upset I get. What about Frogger's friend here, who is wearing a hat? It's even worse. Does he have like a Hitler mustache? I don't think so. He's got something going on above the lip. Looks like more of a Selic to me. Is this a, is this a joke? That's supposed to be English text. I don't... <laughs> hmm... The guy, I'll, I'll, there's like, you see those question marks above and stuff like that too. Like, I don't know if there's just something in the font. Oh, it's like, this is like a save game clash too. This game freaking out. Uh, do you want my save from the 26th or the one that got some points? We'll use that one. Like, yeah, for whatever reason, the font isn't displaying properly. That's probably supposed to say touch to start there. It's a weird bug. It's a weird bug. This game is full of weird bugs if you think about it. Are there Flies that you can use. Oh, and also that's Why slang Japanese. In Japanese, I don't eh. Okay. I pushed the options button and it just disappeared. Jan, I think this has something to do with us. I think we put a frogger curse on the studio. Maybe it's like kill this app it's restarted. Alright. That's why I don't think it, I, it looks like you literally cannot play the game. Try relaunching Frogger and see what happens. And then if it doesn't happen, we'll just not play Frogger. That's probably how that'll go. What? You heard me. Yeah, it's, no, it's it looks the like still. You, oh man. Frogger, I'm morally opposed to this game because Frogger should be on a grid-based system. Yeah, and it's not quite on a grid. It's, it's a weird, it's weird. I wonder if it has anything uh, to do with you playing this when this whole thing was still in beta, maybe? Who knows? I don't think so. I, I, but I don't know. Frogger, it's bad, don't play it. Yeah, also, it's not a great game. Um, it's, not, it's, it's not a great game, uh, but also now it's like, on top of that, weirdly broken in a way that I'm kind of into. All right, let's try. Try killing this app again. What's gonna be next? I'm so excited. Um, why don't we look at Grindstone? I hear yeah. very good things. So I got an email from uh, someone handling public relations uh, for this game that said that they acknowledged that the audio thing where it wouldn't let you play music was a bug and they were looking to fix it. Oh, great. So that was something that uh, Very cool. had come up in some of these, or not all of these games, but some of them. Yeah, uh, I went like many of them. Three yeah. On finding one that would like, do it. Like until... won't let you play music or podcasts or anything while you're playing the game, just repeatedly silencing it. Uh, and uh, that's a bummer. Um, okay, the text displays. I was worried. I was like, oh man, is this gonna be fucked up too? Okay, so let's uh, play some of this. It's a puzzle game um, in the vein of something like a dungeon raid. Um, there's George there. I saw some people saying this is a lot like their own. Uh, Might Magic Clash of Heroes Oh, from a number of yeah, years yeah, yeah. ago. Right, they did do that. Which yes. was a good game. 
Um, okay, so the angry enemies will attack at the end of my turn here, so I can tap on them and kind of see. Wait, I thought I could. Tap and hold on them? Yeah, tap and hold and kind of see what their attack radius is before I go here. So if I end my turn next to an angry enemy without taking care of said angry enemy, I will take damage. Um, hmm. Let's take that one out. And so you kind of carve your way around the board, uh, cutting up uh, the, you know, similarly designed creatures. And you, you have get, to. You gotta get oh, I should have got the chest. Why did I? Yeah, I was. I didn't see the chest up there at the top. That was dumb. Oh yeah. Uh, you can actually get two of them. Yeah. Uh, if you go like down and die, this is gonna be it. Yeah. Well, I'll get. That works. Let's just do that. Keep it moving. This game gets hard. Yeah, it does. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel like I've chosen poorly in some cases and do not have any good long combos yet. That's okay. The long combos are only getting you like those gems. Yeah, right? but like the gems are what get you the longer combos, and then it's on, you know. Uh, all right, let's just do this. So the goal is in the top right there. You want to get 35 before you can leave the level, but then once you clear that, it'll spawn a chest which you have to stick around for an extra couple turns if you want to get. There's no way to kill more than one type of monster in the same turn. So that's that's what I'm trying to work up to here. Uh, if you get a combo of 10 or more, it'll spawn yeah. a gem, mm. and then the gem will let you pivot to a different color mid-combo. Get those blue dudes, you can get up to 10. Well, I'm, I'm carving this up to, like, get a bunch. You're right, I'll stop. Uh, okay, oh, you're yeah. right, no, there is a good diagonal path. Oh, yeah, there, there is, is, it there. totally is. Oh, is this, uh, this is let's do good. this, and then next turn we'll... Might get more. Uh, or not. Or I might get fucked. Oh, yeah, but there's your key. Okay, all right, well... Let's just get that key, then. That's, That's a very fortunate spawn. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now we can get the chest. Um, and kind of the more turns you wait past the door opening, you have uh, a lot more enemies will spawn. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna use my shield here, which will let me avoid damage here since I'm ending my turn in a bad spot. Oh, but, okay, I wasn't sure if it was gonna block multiple attacks yeah, or not. Yeah, blocks all damage. Great, that's great. Yeah. Okay, now we've got a fuckload of these guys ready to go. Uh, wait, that's that. Yeah, 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 this is good. This is good stuff. Mm -hmm. And we'll get the chest, so. Good sounds. Oh, I fucked up. I didn't realize that that guy was right there. I was so excited about murdering all those guys. I didn't realize I was gonna take a bunch of damage. Okay, so for that long combo, we got that sick gem. Um, Unfortunately, this is in a really bad spot. Yeah, it's not in a great spot. Uh, Fortunate spawn is Todd McFarlane's Credence cover band. Hmm. 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 <laughs> okay, let's do... Wait. That, was, that was from chat. You're not gonna take credit for that one yourself? <laughs> no, that was Vinnie Bush's. Okay. In case it wasn't clear. So with the gem, I can then go through a second type, which in this case, we're just gonna use to combo into that guy and then get out of here. So you gotta stick around on each level as long as you like, really, and, you know, murder and get, and get more resources, but ultimately, you kinda only need to stay to get the door open. You don't even need to get the chest. Right. Um, chest will just have a chance to drop a blueprint, yep. which are those single-use items. Uh, it didn't seem like they were necessarily all single-use. 
Well, um, but the ones I have so far are within a level, but they respawn between levels. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, new blueprint. Spinny sword. Oh wow. Hmm. That's fun. It's all spaces, recharges, so yeah, recharges between battles. I wonder if eventually you can just upgrade these if they all just start as single use, because it, you know, it wouldn't say one of one if you could only use all of them just once. Right. Uh, so this, that's grindstone, more or less, you know? Yeah. Uh, do, 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 one do one more, more? Do one more? All right, okay. Let's see, uh, Cappy founder Nathan Bella just announced he's leaving Cappy. Whoa, yeah. wow. Yeah. Huh. Like an hour ago on Twitter. Wow. Pursuing a uh, quest Some... for limited edition shoes full time. I respect it. Wait, is he into that stuff? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, oh. Okay. The jerks are jerks. Hate those jerks. Once you get multiple jerks in our game, oh boy. Oh, I didn't realize the jerks moved. All right, so I gotta. No, that's a dumb. This is dumb. That's dumb. What I'm doing. Uh, but it's probably still my best play to go about this far, just to get up around here. Solid ten of anything yet, right? No. Hmm. I'm trying to find a list of Apple Arcade games that are coming. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if they they, they announced their initial lineup. Yeah, maybe people, some of those games aren't quite out yet. But people, I, people in chat said that there are some new some more games out there confirmed to be coming that aren't out yet. Okay. I'm trying to find some of those names. Yeah. Damn, you only have one heart. Oh, I didn't realize that didn't replenish between fucking levels. Yeah, you gotta go back to the inn and spend some gems to heal. I was wondering what gems were for. That makes way more sense. Yeah. Uh... Hmm. And maybe wrap around those yellow guys. Just to, Yeah. You got a pretty decent chain of them. Man. Oh, yeah, but it puts you by that guy. Pickpock has a new game. Use the shield. Pickpock. Yeah, pickpocks on here. Makers of a Doomsday Clicker. Oh, what's the theirs is the driving game, Agent, right? Agent, Agent Intercept. Intercept. Yeah. What is that middle item you have? Uh, that's an arrow that I can just use to kill an enemy. Okay. So I mean, I guess I could just like, well, no, yeah, I could just do this. Nice. It's like at a glance, these uh, how can I? These guys and these guys, the guys below me, look very similar, like color-wise. Like obviously oh. they're a different shape, but I'm just like looking at the whole board as a whole. That stuff kind of blends together sometimes in a frustrating way. Yeah, because they're definitely like red and green. Um, Wait, what's a non-color no shit? Person. Okay, all right. Yeah, fuck. The guy right. under you is red. Weird. Yeah, this does get harder. I was like, man, this game's pretty easy. We'll knock out a couple of levels and move. now I'm just like, fuck. <laughs> fuck, all these moves suck. Hmm. Um, yeah, I would use one of your items here, though I don't know which one is better. Yeah. Because I think right now I mean, I'm trying to get is... these guys to be to connect up in yeah. a way that gets me a 10, so I don't want to kill any of them just yet. But I don't have any great. I mean, maybe if I just get, no, that's not going to Okay, maybe if I just kill this guy. Yeah. Kind of put me in an area that... Yeah, there you go. That's the move. Hey, you can definitely get that jerk. Can I? Right? Yeah, go down left and then follow the greens. Oh, yeah, you're right. There's a bunch of these fucking... I mean, I can't oh. get him because I'm... No, go the... Uh, yeah, go up into the right instead of up into the left. Right? No, back one more. Oh, back one. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Right, 
right. Like a little extra flourish when you're taking on the guys. Yeah. I what the hearts do. I think they probably they give you give you a heart, I would think. Heart. If I had to guess. It's another uh material. Oh, that's uh -oh. for like crafting. Yeah. Like kind of once you get your first gem, like you're it, you're building longer combos, kind of almost immediately. So yeah, um, I was gonna say so many of these games have like a ton of personality, which is really cool. Yeah, like, uh, and it's it's interesting because you see games like this, you know, like there are a lot of games on phones similar to this, right. but a lot of them have energy meters and a bunch of other shit, and yeah, you know the the no microtransaction stuff for these Apple Arcade games is like. Refreshing yeah, change, like I guess. This thing has enabled developers to just make a game ass games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is weird because I, you know, in some cases with some of these games, I don't necessarily want some game ass games on my phone. Mm. Or, or well, rather. I mean games with no extra. Yeah. No monetization. Just here's a video game, play it until you're done. Right. What a concept. Yeah. Um, man, Vinnie Bushes with the jokes and the questions. Uh, does this thing support rubble on a dual shock? I can't see myself playing Sayonara Wild Hearts without it. Hmm. Oh. I don't know. We've got a bunch of controller games here. We should be able to figure that out, yeah. maybe? Also, I can say, well, you can play Sayonara Wild Hearts without that. Right. Rhythm game, you kind of tap your stuff. You can tap your stuff. All right. That's a messing around. You get now. Oh, you can get the chest. I can get the chest now. I got the key, so. Uh, okay, yeah. No, I don't want to go all the way. I like how the music changes once the door is open. This is the first time I've uh, heard this game with audio, I think. Unless it was on the show. Well, yeah, we played on Friday. Maybe I heard it there, but like. Uh, I have played I this game silenced mostly. No other choice than to hear this game <laughs> when I was playing it. Nice. I think this is probably my standout in because it's it's fun and it's like so easy to play a level or two and then yeah, stop. And then stop, yeah. Which is, I think what I'm getting at is like, I, when I think about games on this platform, it is in a lot of cases like, I've got X amount of time to play a level of a thing. So a lot of these games, or some of these games, feel like slightly longer session than that in some cases. And, yeah. and that's uh, cool, but doesn't always fit with, you know, just my time. All right, that's Grindstone, it's good. We'll see. Um, let's try that, uh, the Operation yeah, or Agent Intercept, Agent rather. Intercept, I have not, yeah. I have not seen much of this. Uh, Turn this controller back on. I don't, yeah, I wasn't expecting a racing game out of them. I didn't think that was necessarily where their focus has been yeah. to Talk. date. Okay, we are going to need to replay the tutorial because it's been pretty long. It's been like a week and a half or something since I... Uh, is this Spy Touch Hunter? this thing. Is Spy Hunter-ish. Mm. Claw is coming for you. Claw? Is it Inspector Gadget game? Wow, is this the perspective the whole time? I think so. That's kind of interesting. A. Let me hit the A button.
collect a gadget. Is that X? Uh, it's cross. It's a cross gas on this. I hate that they said it's cross, but I'm gonna respect it. I see the cross inspector has logged on. <laughs> name I haven't gone by in a long time. I kind of enjoyed that suggestion to just refer to them as one through four. Wait, which is one? Circle. Circle. It's how many lines is uh, how many uh, lines are in the thing, in the symbol. Uh, Apparently like old school PSX documentation from like yeah. developer manuals refer to the buttons as one through four. But that's going to get in the way of my anime fighter notation, which uses numbers for control stick positions. Yep. Exactly, that's the point. Now instead of a 2A, it's a 2-2. Two, two. Mm -hmm. Like an uppercase 2 and a lowercase 2. <laughs> Man, late title card in a mobile game. Yeah, right? It's, it's like a real video game console. <laughs> Absolutely you not. You never know when Absolutely evil might not. strike. Would you like to know? Have no, thank you. Do you ever say yes to that in any game? Yes. Okay. Only when I'm like curious, like, what kind of garbage yeah. are you going to send me, game? Sure. sure. Um, but I, I, my patience for that has worn thin to where now I'm like, even just like, hmm. Compete among 25 agents racing for first place. Oh. Steel. Wait, is this a... Um, it's like a Trackmania situation of just a bunch of ghost data that you're racing? I guess. Follow the claw truck to find the hidden entrance to the mountain. Threat level low. <laughs> like a lot of this just feels like it's a really big Xbox Live Arcade launch. Yeah. Like these games feel like, yeah, like hey, check out all these, like man, they sure are a lot of Xbox 360 games all of a sudden. Some, like, yeah, some, some of these seem like a trifle. But for five bucks a month, eh, totally. Apple, somebody at Apple just got their wings hearing you say that. <laughs> but at five bucks a month, eh. Do you guys, do you guys see yourselves just paying and letting it go? I, I'm going to. I'm, like I'm curious. Just, yeah. Stay subscribed and see what yeah, happens. I'm curious enough to see what happens. Uh, it kind of depends on what their post-launch support is for new games, right? I mean. This is a big right. ass launch, but eventually I'll play all of these games that I want to play. Yeah, yeah, of course. And if they have not replenished the the lake by then, uh, uh, sorry, the what? The game lake. Is that is that a mobile game term of it art? It is now. It is absolutely now. Great. If they if they don't restock the lake with fresh game fish, <laughs> uh, then I need at what least the two trout. The games are all the games are all currently swimming against the streams. Yeah, they're yeah. all spawning at the moment. No. Um, but it feels, you know, like these games feel like they come from a different ecosystem. Like, you know, like reading stories like, hey, Mario Kart's out and stuff like that. Like that, that feels like a different world I was gonna compared ask to if, this. Like, I was going to ask if you guys had played that because people in the chat were complaining about how microtransaction heavy it is. Uh, I've not. Specifically, well, I mean, A, I don't fucking like Mario Kart. But, uh, but B, uh, like seeing the, hey, we are selling a $5 subscription for Mario Kart bucks. Yeah. Like, no, what? Yeah, like people, people Absolutely not. No, thank you. The sentiment in the chat was basically like Mario Kart looks extra shitty next to all these games coming out. Yeah. yeah. I fucking love Mario Kart and I watched 15 minutes of somebody playing the mobile game showing off all the mobile trappings and it is not It is the worst one they've done, nice. I think. Like is it uh played portrait mode? Uh yeah. Huh. Seems weird for a Mario Kart game. But, I mean, the performance kind of taking a dive on this thing. Well, some of that's because we're going out uh, yeah. to a TV. Uh, yeah, the video out is always a little weird yeah, on, on uh, my phone. Uh, in my experience, these games have run pretty smoothly on my phone here. Uh, which is, this, is, a, is this thing out on the iPad and Apple TV and stuff yet? It is on iPad. Um, I am not... I, I think I saw Apple TV. I thought, yeah, I, thought, I, thought I, I saw something. Like Tuesday or yeah, something. Yeah, I think it was... 
I'd be curious to see, you know, I imagine they would all just kind of look like this, I mean, you know, playing with a controller and stuff on yeah. an Apple TV. I wonder if the frame rate would be better because it's not dual outputting. Probably. Uh, yes. Oops, TV oops. Uh, OS launch. Yeah, the only platform that hasn't gotten it yet is Mac OS. This is so not like uh, what I expected from this team. Yeah. Yeah. I, I am very fond of Doomsday Clicker, but this is not what I thought I would see from them. I am perpetually out of boost here. There we Agency go. scum. You did get to the secret mountain layer. Whoa. Uh, this is like, like, the, wild like the good levels of Crash Bandicoot all of a sudden. Oh, I guess I have mines, huh? Very cinematic. They should try going in front of you to stop you. Yeah, probably. Oh. Uh, Nine, eight, seven. Okay, you did it. Fight the rocket. Shot a rocket at that rocket. They really had trouble finding that. <laughs> <laughs> like, where could it be? <laughs> I don't know, maybe the giant volcano that has a rocket sticking out of the top of it. Great work, Agent. Thank All you. Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, Game Center achievements. Yeah, uh, and it's like now they're kind of back, but yeah. they got rid of the Game Center app, yeah. so there's no easy way to see that yeah, stuff that's, anymore. That's it's like a, strange, a really bizarre, strange move. Uh, all right, that's uh, that's Agent Intercept. Um, kind of cool. Had a number of requests, including from me, for Assemble with Care. Okay. Yeah. Have you played that? I have not. I have uh, I've kind of been holding off. Yeah. Because some of these are gonna have tutorials and stuff. Like sure. I've been. Kind of avoiding playing some of these games uh, hear, until we're here. I but, hear very uh, good things about. Yeah, that. I I have uh, seen a lot. Of some talk people about. some people saying it was like the standout. Saw some people saying it's like a couple hours, like okay. not necessarily like a long game, but. All right, we got tape. Nailed it. All right, thanks for playing. Oh wait. <laughs> uh, who is this? This is, is this Monument the Monument Valley? Valley people. Okay. Right? Okay. Played Monument Mount Valley for the first time a few months ago. The game's pretty good. No, no, you want it? No, now you have to. I'm glad that all these buttons work. It'd be really <laughs> unfortunate if you could, you could only do it the right way. After a year on the road, I thought I'd get tired of traveling. The endless clatter of railways, highways, and everything in between. Swipe. No, oh, it's down. Okay, yeah. But as my train pulled into the station at Bellariva, I felt every bit as excited as the first. A whole year. It felt like a lifetime. The places I'd seen, the people. I'm a restorer by trade, bringing Putting our tapes into tape decks. That's what I do. Back to life is what I love to do. Bella Riva unpack. No, thank you. Right. We're gonna unpack now. No. So you know, like I, th these are pretty natural. Uh... My passport. Not many blank pages left now. I picked up these sunglasses on my last stop. Hopefully I'm cool enough to pull them off. The tools of my trade. No hope of restoring things without these. My favorite overalls. These will never go out of style. Looking okay. forward to taking more close-ups of my fingers. With the over-the-counter medication I'm smuggling. <laughs> it's inside this hairbrush. Who doesn't love a scrunchie? Okay. 
Okay. Good job. Thank you. I took everything out of the suitcase. Finally, I'd made it to Bella Riva. I'd come for the food festival, taking place in a few days' time. After living off okay. TV... Of course, I'd need to earn enough money to pay for it, so I figured I'd head out the next day. Right, we're gonna find some work. My parents never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple, stationary... I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques... My story in Bella Riva began with a little girl, and a voice she was longing to hear. They must be bringing back some kind of achievement app or, or Game Center app at some point. It's always been there, but only accessible from in games that haven't enabled. Right. Which is just yeah. bizarre. Uh, they should just bring that app back. It was, that was, my first was fine. In Bella yeah. Riva There's and nothing I wrong with it. Wait to leave my hotel Apple's and explore. Weird. It was a quiet town. I think developers just stopped putting achievements in games. Yep. And they're like, all right, whatever. In the what is this? Except for Microsoft. What is this game? Were underway I think for the we will get to the, the actual. I think it's it's, it's there's a little it's a little more puzzly take on what we've been doing, okay. like opening things up, fixing things. Yeah, that, my impression was it was a lot of like piecing to worry piecing gadgets together and stuff. When like I felt that. someone tapping yeah. me on the back. Hi, I didn't expect this much story though, or any story actually. Yeah, this is a lot of. I thought there was just a puzzle game. Maybe seven years old, who must have gotten hold of one of my flyers. She rummaged around in her backpack until she. My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. I wind up this tape. I tried to fix it myself, but there's this metal thing in the way. Restore. Oh. Okay. Oh wow, you actually do have to wind the tape. Why did you do that? You're gonna probably have to unscrew the back and put batteries in. Oh, right, yeah, those are batteries, huh? Locking up the battery compartment with a screw is crime. a crime. Batteries look like they need replacing. Luckily, I have some spares. Mm, this battery's got a moldy. Hate when that happens. I remember one time I was at a uh, some sort of like raffle, and I got a raffle ticket and I won. I was like seven or eight years old. I won some electronic. I can't remember what it was. And I was all excited and I grabbed it and I was trying to make it work, but it wasn't going. So my dad was like, hey, let me look at it. And he popped open the battery thing in the back and just acid started oozing out from it. Cause it was like some community drive thing where somebody just like dug in their closet and pulled out this thing and donated it without looking. Yeah. And just like, like just oozing. Oh God. And he's just like, okay, you don't get to play with this. I brought a crappy little drum machine over to a friend's house once and we turned it on, it wasn't working. And we're like, oh, and we went and did something else for a while. And then I picked it up and it was sticky on the bottom. And I thought he had syrup on his kitchen table. And for whatever reason, I just went, uh. Oh, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. I've definitely looked at battery. But not, this was the acid that had come out of it. It was yeah. the goop. It was, I'm not, don't. I never, I never went full goop, though. Thanks, Maria. You're the best person at fixing things. This ever. seems nice. No yeah, problem. sure. Yeah. Who was that singing? They're very. I would like to see something a little more. Uh, it's my mom. She, intricate. She's not here anymore. Is he trailed off? Uh, you mean in terms of just like, like, like levels or whatever? Yeah, the device. Should I, should I just never. like? Yeah, I kind of. Yeah, maybe just rush and to the next one. Friends called for her. She um, dug deep into her pockets. I usually prefer. That one check, was pretty straightforward. Was, she seemed like a happy kid. No. I wouldn't uh, but maybe it's not about being a brain teaser. Yeah, it seems like it's more about like just the, the here the are the stories of these items. But I mean, also with the puzzles, just maybe it's more about the just kind of tactile act right. of yeah. touching things and taking them apart, first putting them back together. Complete. I spent the rest of the day. Doing always a good I was time. exhausted when I got the address. This is another one of those games. It'd be a real bummer if it was based. The front door Solely on playtime because it's like, what do you do once you solve those puzzles? Yeah. Long day at the office. Are you Maria? My name's Joseph. I'm Isabel's father. I'm so sorry she bothered you this morning. Please come in. I'd like to settle up properly. On the mantelpiece. Ah, my father's statue. What's that? 
It survived a hundred years in this family. If something breaks, would you rather fix it or just toss it and buy, buy a new one? Depends on what it is and how hard the fix is and all that other stuff. Like, I'm not super handy, I, I would say. I, don't I live to resuscitate things that are broken. Uh, okay, so, can I put, no. Do I have to glue each? Oh, wait, come on. Oh. Hmm. Let's say, if we're rating interactions here, this one's pretty low. The put glue on thing interaction. Not loving it. Uh. Okay. I wish you could like do it poorly. I wish you could just like put his yeah, head like, on. Yeah. Here you go, bud. <laughs> or um, thank you. It just smashes it again. Yeah. <laughs> you need glue, probably. Yeah. No, I was just looking to see if that was gonna fit or not. If that was gonna be. I mean, let's see if we can. It seems like that's a no. <laughs> No? Okay. Uh, the other arm. The other arm. Let's see. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. Sometimes I think my daughter should come with a warning label. <laughs> Can you stick the other pieces together, or do they all have to stick onto this base? Like, could you put those three together? Oh, right. And then put them all on here. Well, we can put well that those two back. Yeah, yeah those two. Oh, don't. those two don't get these two don't connect. connect, connect so, yeah, so. I guess we're we're boned. Might as well finish this one since we've come so far. Honestly, this seems like a very easy fix. Yeah, it's such a clean break. Really like strong enough to hold everything together. I feel like uh, forty to sixty percent of my attempts to glue a thing back together ends in tragedy. Yeah. Ends in me throwing the thing away, because like, yeah. oh, now it's all goopy and fucked up, too. Yes. Gluing, not my strong suit. Yeah. yeah. I can... It looks as perfect as it yeah, ever did. This seems nice. My father wanted me to make my something favorite is of cutting. myself. Cutting something to measure? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not about that. Yeah. All right, well, let's move on. Uh, let's see here. Let's play some Punch Planet. Yeah. Let's see how the multiplayer works. Yes, uh, Punch Planet seems really interesting. This was something I think huh. even prior to the Apple Arcade launch, I was like, oh, this seems like it could be kind of cool. Yeah, I, I played this um, at uh, the last Evo I went to. Ah. Okay. I don't like the art. Yeah. I like the character intros a lot, like once you're loading into a fight. Pretty, pretty good cyberpunky looking feel. She's cool. All the characters in this game are cool. There's a dog named Dog. Okay. I like this dude. He's like a con, he can, but he drinks to get more powerful. Is that dog? That's Dog. That's yeah. Dog. That's my main. guy's a frisbee player from the future. A wind jammer. <laughs> he really is. Punch planet. Punch planet. A whole planet for punching. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise known as Osra's Wrath. Okay. Something very MK about this to me. Mm. Mm. The things with like this, the, the cancels, the the way the juggling works reminds me of it. Six buttons. Oh, okay, so like three normals. Oh no, never mind. Okay. Punches and kicks. So your tutorial is this is a fighting game. Yeah. Whoa, she's big. Yeah, I can throw. She has a command grab. It's cool. <gasps> Wait, dog is a playable. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? 
Can you pet the dog? Depends how you define pet. I wonder which six buttons on this controller is going to choose. Engage. Oh yeah. Um, okay, it's it is fight stick, fucking like Street Fighter default. Do you know if these games are required to be exclusive to Apple Arcade in perpetuity? They're not. Uh, a lot of them are timed exclusives, and it sounds like that the Apple definition of exclusive primarily means not on Android, because the, a lot of the, you know, like Cyanar Wild Hearts is on Switch now. Okay. Yeah, somebody in chat was specifically lamenting that these games might not come to Android because of this. No, right. I wasn't sure if that's the deal they've got. Uh, my guess is that these would be timed. Man, starting off against Dog, I deal with all this hitbox shit. Just sweep him. So yeah, it has a cool mechanic where if you hit the same move after doing it, mm -hmm. you'll kind of cancel out of it. So like when you turn blue there, mm -hmm. that's you like, so like if you hit me heavy kick and then heavy kick again, it'll use one of those blue meters. And it can like, you can cancel into oh. a different move or do yeah. the same move. Or, I don't know about your fonts, Punch Planet. Yeah. I feel like this game's got some style, but the fonts sort of miss the boat. Decision. Decision. And suck it, dog, I guess. You're under arrest. Ah, oh, yeah, that dog's going to jail. <laughs> the gritty third chapter for Scruff and Gruff. Dog felons. Uh, so let's see what happens, what this is going to be like. So then... Is this a Final Fantasy game? Do you... Maybe, if, okay, so I'll pick Roy here. Uh, mm. Serata asked a pertinent question. Can you only pair a single PS4 or Xbox controller to one iPhone? Or can you pair two? Yeah, I think you can pair two. Huh. Um, oh, because you just added like a, like a Bluetooth this, device, yeah. right? So you probably could. Yeah, I like this screen a lot. Oh, that's, yeah, that is, that looks good. <laughs> All right. Ready? Engage. Oh. I'm also controlling you. I am. Yeah. Wait. How do I control me? It said versus another player. Yeah, it said player one, player two, but it didn't. It never said how do you actually. Should we try syncing another? Play as player two, left position, left side. Another controller, real quick. It might be worth trying that. Just yeah. To see if it works. I would be curious. I think this is going to turn on the PS4. Is the only problem. That's all right. All right. Okay, uh, so well, don't turn it on just yet. We'll go already in well, Xbox. Now you've gone and turned it on. I've gone and turned it on. Oh, well, you can just hold down the button on that for ten yeah, seconds right. and it'll go off. Okay. Let me see that. Hold on. I gotta kill it. Okay, I kill okay. it. Okay. So I think if you just turn it on holding share and this button, the PlayStation button, you'll eventually get into a wow. pairing mode. Wow. I didn't know about that. Life hacks. And we will pair. Life hacks. All right. Well, All right. It says we have two controllers connected. Up here to have saved two controllers. Uh, okay. Interesting to see what color they picked for the light bar. <laughs> it's kind of a salmon color. Very nice. Uh, and then tell. Punch Planet. Versus. Versus player. That's me. You Are you moving me? You're yeah, also we're moving we're both me. moving. Both player one. I wonder if you have to restart the game, maybe. Okay. But I wonder if I could have picked player two there. The sugar yeah, I mean, it doesn't know, know which who's who, right? They... Yeah, maybe we'll have to kill the game and relaunch it. Let's, let's see what happens when it loads in. 
You are under arrest. Don't get attacked. Kind of wild that this exists. Like, who would have thought to make a fully featured fighting game on an iPhone? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like everything about this style and the look of Roy, maybe not the look of Roy, but the look of Roy. Like if you told me this was like, yeah, this is our gritty flashback fighting game. <laughs> set in the world of flashback. Yeah, okay. Uh, I can see it. He doinked me. Ah, uh, there's EX moves if you do two punches or two kicks. Uh, is is like both lights to throw, or do you know? Uh, I do not. All right. Oh come on! Oh, I'm told this game is on Steam. Yeah. I didn't realize this was also a PC game. Yeah. Uh, is it out now? I th I, uh, I thought maybe it was like coming, but wasn't quite out yet. But I, I guess I don't. It. So this yeah, this got announced Oops. a while ago. It is in early access. Okay. Right now. Go back to Engage. characters. All right. To you. Wait, so what does I wonder what that means for this for is this the final version of the game? And they just haven't updated it on Steam yet, or hey, games get patched all the time. What's what's anything mean anymore? <laughs> yeah, I guess it's not like you paid money for this game directly, so wait, you don't. Oops, I hit back. Wait. Hey, hang on. Yeah. Okay. Sid. There we go. Oh. I thought I hit back, but I found an even more back back yeah. to press. Sid. What are you hitting to select? X. That's what I did. And then hit it again. Agent. There you go. Okay. You have to mean it. Black market. Put on a good show. It's, yeah, it's pretty wild that we have two PlayStation controllers synced to a phone to play a fighting game, and it is not like. We're not like running emulators on an Android <laughs> right. device. It's like it's very unApple like to allow this, but it's pretty awesome. It, yeah, well, it's it, to me, it's got that vibe of like knowing that like they like the stuff they had tried with controllers in the past. Apparently, like to me, this like feels like someone finally won an argument of just like, dude, fuck it, we're not gonna yeah. do it. Let's just yeah. let it ha let, like let other people do it if they want to. And if they want to stick a fucking PlayStation controller, just fucking let them. Who cares? We're not going to make some fancy, elegant fucking controller. And even if we did, nobody wants to buy another controller. Yeah. Yes, it is both lights to grab. Okay. Flawless. Not quite flawless. Engage. Vinny Bush is now the official MVP of chat on the stream. Vinny! Uh, just tried this on my iPad Mini 4, which just barely made it into iPad OS, and it looks like blurry garbage. Mm. I'm excited for this to come to my MacBook. Uh, I saw... Oh, it wasn't this game. What was it? Might have been Agent... God, what was that called? Agent Intercept? Yeah. Somebody was saying that looks bad on Apple TV. Oh. So I guess the games are different. Well, they're all going to have platforms. different processors and stuff, yeah, too, Yeah, that might right? have been, so. like, the older Apple TV, because I think it runs on the last two gems. Oh, yeah, there's a alpha counter. Mm. Um, and then you can hit both mediums to do, like, a quick short hop, which you can act out of. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, it's got some, some depth. Like, the combo system seems, you know... Yeah. I've seen, like, a, a CPU do, like, a seven-hit combo on me once, so I was like, mm -hmm. okay. Let's try one more. Sure, yeah. Last two characters. Sorry. Forget that we both can't yeah. be moving here. Ah, the Max. 
Wait, oh yeah, okay. Dog. I hope this dog is a bounty hunter. I hope that Max is also a bounty hunter. They're probably all bounty hunters. Mm -hmm. Max is a charge character. Okay. Reminds me of Birdie. My dog. Dog fighting. Fight dogs. No, dog fights are wrong. No, it's fight dog. It's different. And it's perfectly legal in the future. Dog's got a dive kick. Oh, wow. I don't, I don't like Max at all. Did, did that dog just say, what a joke? I think so. Good boy. I think he said, too easy. Ow. Uh, question from the chat. This is called Punch Planet, but this dog isn't punchy. What's the deal? We we'll have to call the dog cops. I don't know, that looked like a kick. Just to say he's not punching. With his, his mouth. I think he went Omega Rugal on me. I've been known to. What's the deal with Rugal? Orochi blood. Oh, I've got like an elf forte run stop thing. <laughs> that is messed up. Yeah. Normally, if you want to see people throwing animals around, you gotta stream on Twitch. Where are we are streaming on Twitch. Hi, hello. Uh. All right, that's Punch Planet. Punch Seems Planet. cool. Yeah. We should do a, a full quick look at that yeah. once it's done. Um, there are some big names on this thing at launch yeah. also, yeah. Uh, including this, Sonic Racing. Not Sonic Team Racing. What? Just Sonic Racing. Wait, what? Yeah. I, I must have missed this. Data collection. I've got to get online. Sonic style. Sonic can have my information. Tails wants to know your location. I gotta violate your privacy fast. All right, now would you pay five dollars a month to play Sonic Racing, is or this Apple five dollars a month to? This is seriously just an Apple Arcade game. Yeah, that's crazy to me. Oh, I, guess, I guess maybe I do still have a team though, huh? Yeah. Sonic's my mentor, you guys. This just this seems Senpai like. the hedgehogs. <laughs> It seems like the kind of thing they could make so much more money on with microtransactions, though. Well, I wonder if, like, like just for launch, if Apple pursued, because they had a lot of money to spend, yeah. they probably just came to Sega and said, hey, do some stuff. Yeah. Here's a bunch of fucking money. Maybe. Here's a sweet remix. Oh. Okay. It's... All right. This is not a great way to... Yeah, sure does. Is this portrait only? Yeah. Huh. I, driving games in portrait is like a bizarre yeah, choice. Yeah, you can't even see the entire track at one time. Like when you take a corner wrong, you practically lose all visibility of the track. Yeah, this sucks. That's not good. This is... I, I kind of like it because you get to see what's coming ahead more easily. It's like when you're landscaped, it's... It's Can't like really a, much it's like a 16 9 screen, you know, it's like it's. But I guess if they want to make the characters big and yeah. stuff, then maybe you, you do start well, to lose some of that. Yeah, I think he's probably in this. I wonder if this has the drifting stuff at all. It doesn't look like it. I mean, I'm not even hitting a gas button. It just goes like I'm just steering with an analog stick or the screen, you know, it, it doesn't. You got fifth. Disgraceful. Doesn't seem like there's a whole lot to this. Oh, this is huh. the destiny of car racing games. This is really strange. This 
just make Knuckles your captain. I found my big cat wallpaper from like 15 to 20 years ago. Yeah. The other day. That so you made yourself? In the, is it erotic? Is it a, like it... a nested folder of like old desktop, desktop 2, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Several yes. hard drives deep. No, it's a pretty standard. Okay. Just a full screen picture of Big the Cat, but I was very excited. Apparently, I made Tails my team captain. That's not really what I intended to do, but it seemed like He's that's got what the it, worst stats. That seemed yes. like what it wanted me to do. Like this is all still tutorial stuff. The stats suck. Now you can race against players around the world, building opponent pool, simulating visuals. What? All right. See, they got Knuckles as their captain. That's a sensible decision. He's not going to take any bullshit. Sonic can't be the captain, he's the power player. Tails obviously can't be the captain, he's the worst. So that only leaves Knuckles. But like, you know, maybe he should be the captain because he's the worst. Like, he doesn't really fill any roles, so might as well just make him the captain and have him just stay out of everybody's way. It's like, yeah, you tell us what to do. Yeah, you get, get right on that. Like, he's the captain of a team full of player coaches. Oh, this game supports okay. landscape if you want to try it. Okay. Uh, you have to change it to settings. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that I can pause this. I guess it's an online game, so that would make sense. Oh, yeah. Wait, are these other players? Uh, I don't know that they are actual humans, but it was trying to build some kind of opponent pool when we first started, so I think the it, implication was that it was. You are against one other human with two AIs, yeah. like how you all have. Yeah, see, he's playing Knuckles. You can see the little human silhouette in the box. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're crushing these guys. I take back everything bad I said about Tails. That's right. He has two Tails. He can fucking fly. He can hover. Knuckles pulled it out there. But robot knuckles, not human knuckles. Tell me more so, about your robot knuckles. Uh, I ordered them uh, from the internet. They came in discreet packaging. Uh, they're pretty easy to clean. Um, okay. Seems okay. Let's try and go into the options and try to rotate it. Oh, it's gonna make me fucking buy shit. Fuck off. I don't want to do this even in a game where this stuff doesn't cost money. Yes, I am laser, sure. Let's now teach me how to huh. upgrade. Somebody was saying earlier that this looks like a microtransaction driven game that was converted at the last minute. And now I yeah, can see I what they mean. The Lego Brawler game is like that as well. I was giving that Gift drift! Gift drift! Gift drift. Ah yes. A video game. <laughs> <sighs> Finally. Whoa! Ah! No, uh, no controller support? Oh, it does. It does? It yeah, does. it does. It does. Well, let's see who else you can get. Can you scroll down on right there? Rose got a fucking Ferrari. I, yeah, I've, I haven't played much of the that last Team Sonic Racing or whatever the fuck it was that, that came out not that long ago. Uh, it's pretty good. This just seems kind of like that. Mm. The whole, well, I guess I can't really pass. Like, the idea mm. in that game is you can pass your power-ups back and forth between and your teammates. And there's a whole, like, coordinated drift thing. That's oh, like you're, the right, real you're right, you're right, you're right. That's the, that is that whole thing, huh? Uh, you have to be drift compatible, though. You, like, do the thing where if you drive behind your ally, you'll build speed, and then you pass, slingshot past them and boost them and stuff. The game's hard, like, to play well. I, I downloaded it when I was sick.
Yeah. Auto gas is kind of, I wonder if that's an option. I guess it would probably not because. Well, this looks a lot better. Uh, they made the characters smaller and they pulled back, alleviating my concern with landscape yeah. mode. I guess, you know, most stuff defaults to portrait mode because they're thinking, like, you got to play it one-handed. It's a phone. Yeah. Play something like Sonic. You definitely want to play one-handed. Play one-handed because you're, like, commuting. You're on a train. Oh, you're not supposed to do that publicly. Good God. Man. Yeah. You get a private car. <laughs> a train. Thrown to jail for that. Not me. The rival is winning. You're in that last. I hit the Q. <laughs> You're in last place. Within your team and within the whole team. I'm not having a good time. Really, it looks like you are. Get him. Use the thing. Don't know what that did. Oh, but you got another one. Your rival is winning. Yeah, I wonder if this run. I, I imagine this runs a lot better if you're not doing TV out because this looks like fucking. Well, actually, some of this is probably network stuff, right? No, yeah. those are all. Bomb. No, no, this is another human. Okay. I have had I'm some sorry. real rough network connections. Yeah, yeah this does games. have the, the look of like packet loss or something. The way it's hitching. It could be wrong, but someone's probably commuting. You should load up. Uh, you should load up that Lego Brawl game. Next. Yeah, okay. It's got a real quick onboarding process. Actually, I like designing your character is the best part of the game. Yeah, like you can't, there's no brake, there's no gas, there's no, you just. And it doesn't even look, the steering doesn't look like smooth. No. In the way you would want it. Like, no. even a game that's like an endless runner where you're sliding your guy back and forth. Yeah. It could be better than that. Good song, though. Yeah. All right, that's Sonic Racing. Mm. Sonic Racing. Okay. No teams allowed. Uh, Lego Brawl you were talking about. Yeah. I think that's on here. Yeah. Lego Brawls, I guess. No joke. I was really excited for this game based off of the trailer that was on the store. Mm. Okay. This is you picking your class. No controllers. All right. Support. Gong guitar rocker. <laughs> Seems like the right choice. <laughs> oh, kickboxer I though. Kickboxer. You have to go with the, come on, man. <laughs> Something about the audio on this feels really unfinished. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no! It it's season three. I got the hot dog stand. It's fun. It's a cool thing. All right. So this is the the that'll change your look, and the dice will change your name. Wait. So I can't. Manually change you will be able to later. Oh, okay. you unlock like new heads and stuff. This is just pulling from like the starter pool. Okay mm. <laughs> You look like a uh, fabulous musician What's what's that child actress with the red curly hair Shirley Temple? Yeah I think an aged up Shirley Temple it's Loud joke. I had superb Joker, but accidentally hit the button All right loud Joker it is this is truly Joker's trick. Yeah, no controller support. Weird. Mm. OK. 
Okay, okay. That's the yeah. right. So oh, okay. Items. I'm looking over at the left and it made it that made it look like it was like a swipe motion. There you go. We got the whole damn game now. Okay, brawl, I guess. <laughs> this is fucked up. Why did they make a Lego Hillary Clinton? <laughs> All right, loud Joker is ready to brawl. It goes well with your uh, Game Center avatar, too. Yeah. That's a loud Joker. Mm hmm. I feel like I barely know anything about what I'm doing or how. Like, that tutorial seemed real bad. Basically, it'll. Both games I played were like defend a point, and it's just like defend. Yeah, so get to that control point, and if you have more guys there, you get points. Yeah, this looks about as stuttery as what I was dealing with. Oh, just even just. Like people warping around. Capturing the. You're capturing the thing. <laughs> you guys just driving a car? Something's always seemed... I get it now. Yeah. Things always seemed a little weird to me about side-scrolling games that have like a multiplayer territory control thing going on. It's like trying to adapt first-person shooter yeah. modes to a side-scrolling yeah. game. That's sold that, baby. Uh, did you ever play Awesome Knots? Yeah, yeah. Like, that was a neat idea, but like it felt like it kind of lost something going to a 2D platformer. Wow, I didn't realize that they were just basically just gonna put Smash Brothers on a phone. It's as good as that, right? How many stock you got? Inf infinite. I got, I don't know. That is disappointing. The amount of things happening without sound effects on the screen right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Hmm. I think I got you. Ha what happened? You got you. Try switching to your hot dog. Ran out of hot dog. Hey, this seems like it's shit. It's free! With your paid subscription. And time spent. Time. You guys are gonna win though. And you'll get to open up a box. Have they said anything about taking games off the of service? Like, are they going to be rotated in and out? I, you know, I don't, I guess I don't know. Um, that would be good to know. That would be good to know. I think for, you know, the kind of the constant price, you would assume that stuff would go in and out. Uh, yeah. But if they're paying people based on usage, maybe they don't have to? Right. I don't know. That makes sense. It looks like you can fly in the hot air balloon. Also, a lot of these games don't necessarily seem like they're suited to be sold by themselves, I guess. Yeah, I wonder if some of them would, may, would eventually like come as like paid. Like, hey, you could just pay $5 and buy this game if you want, or get it as part of Apple Arcade. Or, like you know. a Mega Mall Story 2 sort of deal. Yeah. Oh, down to the wire. What's gonna happen? You won. Cool. This doesn't seem very good. Thank you to Respectable Brawler for carrying the team. 
We're carrying a team. I don't know. Yeah. There you go. <gasps> What's it gonna be? You skipped it. I tapped it. You skipped it. I tapped it to open it. It had a meter on it, like it wasn't... Shut this off. Well, what did I get? <sighs> what? You got a pirate hat. Or maybe you already had it. Who's to say? Who's... It's Lego Brawls. To say. Uh, some of these, like like Overland, is on PC. We have a quick look at that up now. Yeah. So you know we'll. Shantae is apparently coming to other platforms. It is, yeah. I'm told. I want to see this uh, Shin Sekai uh, game that Capcom did. Yeah, I'm not clear what this is. Into the depths. This looks like a maze game. Oh, no, that's it's lettering. That's not a. Maze. It's, those are words. Start up there. It probably says Shin Sakai, if I had to guess. Go through the C into the A. Does Sakai mean world? Did I dream that up? It does. It doesn't mean you didn't dream it up. There's your Japanese lesson for the day. Super world. Uh, true uh, world, true, maybe true world, more of like, I don't know. Maybe it means something else in this context. <laughs> yeah, this was one of the ones that, like, when they showed this at the press conference, it was like, oh, okay, they're like getting a whole new game from, like, here's a surprise game from Capcom. Yeah. Like, that doesn't happen every day. No. Make sure there are no good options here. Vibration. A, B, X, Y. What does this even mean? I'm gonna play on back difficulty. Yes. I love standard difficulty. Give it to me 10 times out of 10. Yeah. What did you tune for the thing you think is the normal way to play the game? Let's see it. Sometimes I like looking at it on the screen itself because it is a sharper quality image than what gets spit out to a TV. It looks like water to me. <laughs> oh no, I don't think I'm playing yet. I don't think you're playing yet. There is a shoot button I noticed in the options, so this yeah. is a video game. Okay. I feel like there's like some visual language missing from some of these games too. Like Sonic felt the same way in, in some ways of just like, when can I hit a button on the menu? When can, you know, am I playing yet? Like that, there's little, little bits and pieces on some of the stuff that just feels a little off. Yeah. Also, I will say like, even in a game like Sayonara Wild Hearts, which I'm enjoying very frequently, this is suffering from it too. I need an I, I need a phone game to just get me in the action fast. Oh, yeah. Like, we talk about being able to pick up and put down a game is a big part of what makes a good phone game good, but like, you know, it's hard to give a game, a, a mobile game, your full attention a lot of times because you're mm -hmm. like on the move, whatever. Right. And, so if there's like a significant load time, then you're like, okay, like a third of the time I had to play a game just got eaten up by loads and, yeah. oh wait, this is my stop, I gotta go. Yeah. Also, this cutscene, like the screen on my phone keeps going dark because this cutscene is so <laughs> long and I'm like hitting the controller to light it back up. I hate that. That's a problem on multiple platforms. 
Switch yeah. has that problem. Xbox Switch, has that problem. Switch problem. Okay, there should be a fix for that. Whoa. Ah. And then the mask is gonna break off and underneath, beautiful Joe. Any idea what this game is going into this? No. Looks like you could do some global warming. Oh, boy. oh wow, mechanics. HUD. Is that is that your intestine? I think it's probably air. Probably right. But it does have a very 0.37 grams. Is that a G? No, that's maybe not. You're drowning. Man. This game just kind of dropped a lot all at once. Okay, well, mini map up there. <laughs> you're, you're, you're dying. Congratulations. What just happened? You fucking uh, died, uh, mate. None of that. It seemed like I was just going the way I could go. Did you try activating your thrusters? It said hit the left stick to activate, and I was pushing them, but it didn't. Mm. All right, there we go. Careful, you're using a lot of Yeah, you're running out. Yep, that's it. Oh, you're out. This is bad. Uh-oh. It consumes a lot of intestines. Oh, good landing. Thank you. There, there. Over there. Where? What? The, the water bubbles. Oh, the yeah, okay. It's like the hedgehog rules. Yeah. Just careful how you phrase that. That's the rules of yes. Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> you do not want to get caught on video saying Sonic the Hedgehog rules. Oh boy, you just said it too. Yeah. I'm gonna drag you down with me. You guys are sick. Why? For saying that Sonic the Hedgehog rules. Oh no! Oh fuck! Oh, surely you this... say it three times, now Sonic the Hedgehog is gonna come out of the oh, mirror. Shit. I just hope nobody makes a super cut that goes viral. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog rules. Oh shit! I can't stop saying it. it just feels so freeing. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Don't go in the red water. I feel like everything about this world is really hard to parse. Like I have no idea what's going on, where I'm going, what like what any of this looks like. Maybe if I kind of into this now that you're not dying. It's a very Dark Souls sound effect. <sighs> like, doom. Oh. That reminds me, I need to beat Sekiro. Hmm. That's a game you can just jump back right into, right? Oh, for sure. You'll be every bit as good as you were when you stopped. Guaranteed. They say I don't have to deal with that damn ape anymore. Donkey Kong? That's the one. That's actually cranky. Oh, I've, I've almost got enough tickets in Tetris 99 to get the Donkey Kong background. Excited. They just did a Kirby background over the weekend. <gasps> oh shit. I gotta get that. Uh, the event ended already. Oh, it was one of the timed ones? Yeah. Huh. Kinda surprised all those event backgrounds have only been available once each. Maybe they'll rotate them. All right, I pray to the thing. Now I can level up and all the monsters respawn. There's something down there. Down here, you mean, this thing? Yeah. Who wins in a fight between Donkey Kong and Sonic? 
Uh, Do Donkey Kong. Sonic doesn't have the damage. Mm. Donkey Kong is not especially fast, though, right? No, but he has that move where he spins around. So just do that all the time. Is it saving and I'm just not hold, seeing hold the it? Hold, it? hold the button. Yeah. Okay. Weird. I expect to see straight up save slots in an iPhone game. Yeah. That's... Hmm. Donkey Kong does that thing where you just... Yeah. It's not like we need to be able to run straight. Yeah. Is this definitely only on... This is a really good question, by the way. But who would win in a fight? Uh, it's a shame we have no way of determining the answer. Shinsekai yeah. is also a neighborhood in Osaka. Is screw Attack still around? Like the website? Yeah. No. I okay. think they got acquired by Damn. somebody. Cause they call it something else now? Is that what it is? They're the only ones who could solve those, like, who would win in a fight? Zangi for Mike Hagar. Well, thankfully, those, uh, those sorts of questions are answered in rap form now. Yeah. More on the after show next week. Oh, Screw Attack was around until earlier this year. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to figure out if this game is coming out on anything else. It's probably like the least uh, mobile esque game I've seen on the service so far. Club that thing. Never mind, let's check out this TripAdvisor review of the arcades in Shinsekai Osaka. All right. Three out of five stars for these arcades. I feel like this game just kind of started and it's like, it's tutorializing, but I this is like state of the world stuff that I'm still just like, I, okay. I really like this. I'm gonna have to download this one. <laughs> Look out. You got uh, ammo. This very much looks like it would have been an obscure Wii game. Yeah. I can, I can, I can totally see it. Is R2 not firing? No. Maybe you only got the thing to craft ammo. Yeah, there you go. Oh, now they're scared. Ooh. the full menu. I guess maybe with the touch screen that's less of a hassle. It's like not the sort of thing you'd expect Capcom to make. Oh. Also, like it's... This is a strange thing. Are those crafting materials? Yeah. Yeah. You can make healing things and arrows so far. Mm-hmm. 
All right, that is a case of like, I'm like, where's the ground now? Full map. Get full percentage, you know? Yeah, get 106%. What's the first game you remember having more than 100%? Hmm. Mine's like Donkey Kong Country, probably. Me getting it in, or just a game that would let you go over Like seeing it, yeah. Being like, whoa. Uh, Symphony of the Night is probably the lame, obvious answer. Is that 206.8 or something? Mm, what is it, 200.6? 200 200.6, I thought it was. Okay. Is there a joke about that in Bloodstain? I haven't gotten... I don't... I'm not, think, maybe not even a joke, but just an analog to it. It seems like they tried to... There's a thing in it that's not quite the same, but similar. It's coming to Game Pass. Yeah. Or maybe it already did. Still haven't fixed fix that Switch version. Oh. Yeah, there was, I was waiting for them to patch the PS4 one more time, and they still haven't done that yet either. PC version seems fine. This looks like a boss fight. Oh. How about I check the, the Giant Bomb Wiki concept page, over 100% completion. Yeah. Like, I mean, Donkey Kong Country 3 has got to be on there for sure. Donkey Kong Country Series and Burnout Paradise are the ones that got write-ups here. Uh, let me get in here and get these upgrades. Let me in! I can see the upgrades! Doom 2 Hell on Earth is the first game on this list. I can't quite remember how that manifests. Donkey Kong Countries. Crash Bandicoot 2. Spyro of the Dragon. Spyro what? Like every Crash Bandicoot game ever made is on this list. Take two steps, cutscene. All right, we'll probably stop this here and Maybe look at one or two more before we yeah. head on out. I had, um, had some requests for Oceanhorn 2, okay. which I'm curious about. It looks, from what I've seen of it, it looks like an attempt at a full-on 3D Zelda. This game's like proper mysterious. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, you really don't get that often from phone games. Yeah. It almost feels it's like, like a kind of like a, like a PS2 era Capcom or something. Yeah. Use minerals to upgrade suit. And this is just these. What's this one called again? Shin Sekai. Into the into the depths. Yeah, yeah. something like that. It's uh, going to these oh depths. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah. It's pretty depthy down there. Under pressure. All right. Uh, Ocean Horn. You had said. Yes. Where is that? There it is. Oh yeah, that guy looked like Link. Yeah. Well, uh, Ocean Horn One is a an overhead Zelda type knockoff. Is my understanding. Corn Fox. So they're doing the anodyne. <laughs> yes. Uh. Is it? I'm not sure if this is brand new, though, is it? Um. At the end of the world, I write this paragraph. To be the last. It is new for this. 
They fought valiantly against Skip it. They are powerless right. before the fate of the Yeah, I mostly just want to see what this looks like and how it plays. Okay. Story has never made a video game better. It's not it's not true. What? Did you ever play Bada Commando, the 2008 no. reboot of Bada Commando? I did not. That story made that game better. I did play Near Automata. Is it anything like that? It's a lot. It's pretty much exactly the same. Okay, yes, confirmed. This is brand new for Apple Arcade. Yeah. Coming to PC next year. This is like the beginning of Harry Potter. I could not believe it was from you. What's that? It's the, you ever play the Harry Potter game? Yeah. It's the, it's like that. You remember the cutscene in the beginning where Hagrid brings the little baby to the guys? Uh, oh, you mean I, the, only, I only played the Quidditch oh, game. Oh, you mean, you mean the boy who lived? Yes, thank you. It's dealing with he who should, he who should not be named. What's his name? Sephiroth? I'll say it. Yep, that's the guy. He hangs out on the back of, uh, what's his name's head? Oh, this, the phone went to sleep because the cutscene was too long. Okay. Hank is area. Yep. Yep. What is it doing? All right. Retrieve a lockbox stolen from me many years ago by pirates. Its contents are vital for your knighthood. Good luck. <laughs> okay. Achieving for rolling. Yes, yeah, full right stick camera control and yeah. Can you click the stick to lock on, or perhaps hold the, the uh, L two or something? Uh. She just got a gun. He gave Link a gun. It's about time. This thing's got some health. Plus one XP next to 79. You gotta kill 80 of those guys to level up. Maybe I'll get more XP from doing something else. Oh, not that. Seems neat. It I mean, seems like something they, I wouldn't want to be playing on my phone with touch. Yeah, I guess for sure. Well, maybe it controls fine, but yeah, I mean, I, this this seems like pretty well featured, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's ambitious for uh, the platform. But I mean, just you know, like the controller support is dual analog and yeah, you know, radial menus and all this other stuff. So cool. it's, it's cool that somebody tried to make something like this. Yeah, on a phone. Uh, like I, could I mean, with you saying it's coming to PC, it seems more likely they made something like this well, yeah. and then said, let's put <laughs> well, it on phones. It's weird because, uh, yeah, Oceanhorn 1 started out as a mobile game and then came to PC later. Oh, interesting. Huh. Um, I can see this being a good fit for, like, an Apple TV. And they've said, like, all the games on here, the progress goes back and forth. 
and everything. I right? think that's the idea. Is it's all you know your your account and all that stuff. Okay. Oh, well, if the blue button stays down on its own, then we need to. Blue button. That is. Is this what I open? Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. Let's hear the chest opening sound. Yeah. Whoa. What knight is using that as a shield? That's a buckler at best. Right? It's my best buckler, you're right. Now we're using buttons. Okay, so we got an icon on the map that seems like it wants me to... That's where I came from. Is it? Or is it mapping PlayStation buttons? I no. mean, displaying them? No, it's displaying all here. Xbox style buttons. Ah. I could have sworn I saw like a game that did PlayStation buttons on here, but I maybe yeah, it's probably wrong. it's probably game specific. Yeah. Use your shield. Yeah. I'd take a chance there and assume it was gonna auto jump if I like rolled off that ledge. I was right. Did not need. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. I did not. You did not need to stop the action and make me watch that. I hope it stops it one more time. It's definitely going to. A thousand percent. You should pick it up and see what happens. No. Oh. <laughs> I really wanted to know if they just did it over and They'd over. Probably do it. Uh. Look out. Yeah, making, making games is hard. All right, so the, the the shield kind of serves as your not quite a Z targeting, but I would have thought I've been able to hit the roll button to do like a sideways hop, but. Be a good idea. They should do something like that. Rise up. I've done the. Th I've done it. I've risen up. How much G fuel do I get? If you order now and use my promo code, you can get a thirteenth month for free. What? Yeah. Hmm. That's a silver key, all right. Key to old pirate hideout. No, I guess that was X, yeah. That, huh. That really a stamina bar? Yep. You put a... F mm. It's also when you block. So I can't block because I ran too much. Breath of the Wild had one. Yeah, I know. And we all saw how that worked out. Hurt that guy. And now I'm level two. Hey, I rolled a boulder down a hill and now I'm level two. Can't complain. Huh. 
All right, that's Oceanhorn. Fair, fair number of people in the chat seem downright incensed at how Zelda-like this is. Yeah, it's which, aggressively Zelda. I don't know. I mean, yeah, it is, but I just I don't see that as a an objectionable thing, really. They're certainly not the first. I mean, that's what I mean, really. It's yeah. just they're, they're so not many the first, things. but like <laughs> play some dark siders sometimes. This right? dude straight up looks like Breath of the Wild. Yeah, like, I mean the shirt is blue. That's fair. <laughs> he make, he goes ha ha when yes. he like jumps yes. and swings his some sword of the, around. Some of the sword vocalizations are pretty link, for sure. There's a chest opening sound. But yeah, I'm I'm like I'm of the same mind. There just have been so many Zelda clones for so long. Yeah, to, it's hard to get that upset. I okay, think yeah, intellectual we property theft too. is never a laughing matter. I love to laugh at intellectual property theft. <laughs> Gamefield coming soon. <laughs> Woo! Uh, uh, golf. Jan really wants. You're a good what the golf? golf? Without golf. I don't know if I probably. I guess we probably won't get to it. But if you guys played Card of Darkness, I really like Card of Darkness. I, I hear that is great. Yeah, we'll it's check out nothing... uh, some of these games. We'll we'll play on some. You know, we'll play on UPF here and there. Yeah. Uh, we'll do uh, I mean, like, some of these games. We'll get quick looks separately as well. Uh, Jeff asked the same question that I thought before playing it, which was this: Is this just a is a, Card of Darkness just a deck builder along the Slay the Spire vein? Because that's what it sounds like, but. No, oh. A delightful little game with art by Pendleton Ward. Oh god. There's a game on this service called Spider Soars? Is there? I like it's like dinosaurs plus spiders. I it's made by Way Forward. Okay, now we've got a, a What is this a, game? That might not be out. Is that out? I don't uh, I believe it just came out yesterday. Or the day before. Let me see what this looks like. Okay. Let's see if that's worth. Oh, this trailer is just anime. There's anime on here. Oh God, this looks like a. This looks like. Hmm. Oh Jesus. All right. This looks like somewhere between a Contra and like a Gunstar Heroes. That might be worth grabbing real fast. I'm really into what's happening. Sorry, I should, I should watch this game because I hear it's... What in the world? <laughs> uh... Huh. Club. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, at first I asked what is this game, but I rescinded my question. Yeah. To get into it a little bit, you're like, oh, okay, it's, it's, it's readily apparent what this is. I don't want to say they build this as like, it's a golf game for people who hate golf. I mean, ever since I lost my desert golfing save on like hole 1600, I'm gonna need a new golf game. Yeah. Huh? Oh, a fig and, and creation. A fig point. Huh. Wow. I think that's the first time I've seen the fig logo in a video game. Yeah. Oh god, I didn't expect there to be like a story to this. You didn't explore though. Quick look at that Apple was a Arcade. Wholesome joke. That was a wholesome joke. Uh, you want to run that spider sword real fast? No, nope, we're gonna wrap it up. <laughs> All right, and, fine. Uh, I want to see what that looks like. Send it on home. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe we can check out some more of that stuff on UPF. 
Yeah. Uh, but until then, it, this it's this service seems all right. Yeah. Like it's a little erratic. I like. I wonder if some of these games won't come to all platforms. I mean, that was supposed to be the, the thing, is like, they will all come everywhere. Um, mm. But I guess you can play Apple TV games with their weird touch remote nightmare, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. So I wonder if you'll have to use that for some of these games that don't have controller support, mm. if that'll be a thing, or mm. how, how that will work. Yeah, I just um, kind of assumed that everything had controller support. I th- I, yeah, I figured it would have to, because if it's going to go to Mac and Apple TV and stuff like that, like it's, you know, those are non-touch screen platforms and stuff but uh so we'll have to see kind of how that stuff kind of transfers around but until then like yeah it's, it seems like a good batch of phone games for not a ton of money so yeah. Yeah. see you next time everybody thanks for hanging out bye